I'm your Fox 47 neighborhood reporter, Darius Udris. The city of Jackson's search for a new owner for the T.A. Wilson Academy building ended Tuesday, a process that sparked drama both publicly and behind the scenes. Racism, favoritism, conflicts of interest, a family grudge, and reverse discrimination, all accusations that flew as two coalitions squared off with competing proposals to turn the former Wilson Academy into a resource center for Jackson's homeless and underprivileged. A community center ran by the residents for the residents. Residents in Action CEO and founder Tasha Carter believes her organization can help Jackson meet that vision, even if it's not clear where resources will come from. One of our first priorities would be to find funding uh, for the emer emergency shelter. Carter says the one half million dollar state grant they've already secured will be a start. And we will address emerging needs. Um, we will focus on um, economic um, development and um, entrepreneurship and just empowering people to lead their own change. Residents in Action was approved to become the owner, but not without controversy and allegations of favoritism by City Hall. Local nonprofit Welcome Home Organization was part of the second group bidding on the project. Director Victoria Jimerson said her group had no idea a decision was planned for Tuesday's meeting and that it was added to the council agenda after the meeting had started. I don't think that our collaborative um, has any bad feelings about the other organization receiving the building. You know, we are here for a purpose, all of us. But what I don't really appreciate is that it was added to the agenda after the meeting started, and then a city council member stated that no one was present from our collaborative. I heard from council member Freddie Dancy Friday. He says there was no bias in his actions, that it was purely to get the property sold and off the city's books without further delay. Moving forward, Carter told me they have not yet inspected the Wilson building, and the price, 150000 is still subject to revision. Both sides were striking conciliatory notes as we spoke, including hopes of coming together to help those who need it the most. But with doubts about the project's sustainability still in the air, it now falls to residents in action to show that the city's faith in them and their faith in themselves are not misplaced. Darius Udris, Fox 47 News in Jackson.